Today I'm here to share with you my YouTube story. For me, it all started back in January 2012. At the time, I was living in Sweden with my boyfriend Felix. We had met about half a year before that. I think most of you know the story of my best friend finding out about his channel. After just a few months of dating, I had this crazy idea of leaving everything I was working towards to go and have a little adventure. I wanted to move to Sweden to stay with Felix. I was pretty young and I didn't have anything planned, but I knew that I was very excited about it and I wanted to try it. So my birthday was coming up in October 21st and I took that chance to gather all my friends in Italy so I could say bye to them properly before leaving and then the day after on the 22nd of October I had just turned 19 and I packed all my stuff and I left. My time in Sweden is something that I really treasure because for the first time I was living away from home and I learned what it took to be an adult and have certain responsibilities but because I decided to have a different type of life than I expected. I started comparing my life to other people. All my friends were either on university or having stable jobs and I had neither of those two things. So I was very unsure of what I was doing. Felix and I did have some stuff to face, but I think we got through all of it and it just kept making us stronger. So when I think back at Sweden, I just have really great memories, especially of the day when Felix wanted to surprise me. So he pulled up this ad for a pug for sale. There was this dog owner not far from where we live that was tired of her pug and she wanted to give her away. So we went over there and as soon as we saw Maya, we fell in love, so we brought her home. And that was probably one of the best decisions Felix and I ever made together. As I said though, this period was also filled with uncertainty. I was working strange hours and I had a lot of free times that I didn't really know how to spend because my friends were away. So I ended up in front of the computer a lot. And for the first time, I started realizing how much there was on YouTube. Obviously Felix was doing it for a few months at this point, but it never occurred to me that there could be much more other than cat videos and gaming. I just never looked into it. And I remember coming across channels like Close Encounters, Bunny from Graveyard Girl, and Kick the PJ, and Jenna Marble, my queen. So seeing all this variety on YouTube really opened up a whole new world for me. And I felt compelled to try it myself. Being very shy and an introvert, it was kind of daunting because it was something very unusual to do. I had no idea how to do it. Luckily, I had Felix on my side that was there to kind of get me through it. But it took a while for me to be comfortable, even just in front of the camera. But it was something that I was ecstatic doing because it was my chance to have a little corner of the internet where I could share something about myself with people all over the world. Soon after opening my channel, PewDiePie blew up. And because of my relationship with Felix, I was transported from our little tiny flat in Sweden all the way to LA or even around the world. I was shocked that companies would pay for our trips, for our flights. People just wanted a chance to meet us in person. I was thrilled for Felix, but I felt like I was a fraud. I definitely didn't deserve all the attention. I just happened to know someone that did. So if the sparkles and glory of Los Angeles and all these trips was a bit overwhelming for me, going back to Italy to my parents was underwhelming. So Felix and I made the decision to find a middle ground and base our own home in Brighton. We moved here during the summer and we loved it ever since. But I would be lying if I said that it was all great at this point because I had never struggled so much up to this point to carry out everyday tasks. I just didn't want to leave the house. I remember relying so much on Felix and it made me feel very guilty. And I kept thinking like, what was off about me? What was wrong? Everything was pretty much good in my life. I just couldn't figure it out. After a few months, I realized that it was because I had allowed myself to be completely cut off from the world. I wasn't seeking any friendships and I was just finding comfort in my own little bubble on YouTube. And I think I think it's great how people can relate to others online. I grew so much more confident because of it, but if you allow it to take over your life, 
I think it's not healthy. And so once I realized that I took control over my life, I started reaching out to people. And luckily, a lot of people started reaching out to me. In just a few months, I completely turned things around. And I realized how it was such a state of mind. I was putting myself down and thinking that I couldn't do it, that I couldn't meet new people, that I just couldn't be social. When really, if you take small steps, you can definitely make some progress. I think a lot of the people that are in my life right now don't even realize the major impact that they had on my well-being, my confidence, my happiness. And at the same time, YouTube and you guys helped me throughout the years so much. Since the very beginning, I always doubted myself. I always thought that I wasn't good enough and that I had nothing to bring to you. But you guys never doubted me and you always supported me. And so when I started traveling around the world, I just wanted to bring you along with me in every single adventure. I wanted to share everything about my life because you guys gave me the life of my dreams and I wanted you to be a part of that and I wanted to show you how grateful I am. But, and there is a but, as you can see, this page is wide and I don't have much plan for it yet. All I have is this feeling that it is time for me to try something new in my life. This may seem so sudden to most of you probably, but it is something that I knew for a long time, especially this year, I struggle with finding a reason to keep going. I didn't know how to address this, I didn't know how to talk to you about it, and I realize now that I just had to open up and let you know how I was feeling. And although I have loved every single moment on my YouTube journey, and I wouldn't take anything away from it, and if anything, now more than ever, you guys are being so supportive. You gave me the best years of my life. And I know that I'm probably gonna miss this, but I also have to listen to what I'm feeling on the inside. And I don't wanna force myself to keep going when I feel like I'm ready to do something different. I hope this doesn't come across as me being tired of this. It is not about that. It's about me needing to find my path because for a long time I felt like I was following someone else's and I think it's about time that I give myself a chance with something else. You know, I completely understand if you guys are upset with me right now, but I had to be honest with you and talk to you about it. So right now I'm simply here to end my YouTube story. I wanted to come here and say goodbye and once again, thank you so, so much for all the amazing years. I will be forever grateful for what you have given me. And hopefully you will carry on some good memories of the times that we have had together on this channel. This platform has allowed me to express my creativity and discover things about myself that I didn't even know were in here. But I've always had this thing with dates. And as you can see, today is the 22nd of October. And so just like I did seven years ago, today I'm ready to change things around in my life. I have no idea what to expect, but I do feel like it's the right thing to do. So I just wanted to say goodbye to you two, but I will catch you around.